what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos. If it is your first time here, hello. My name is Karen Sarayi, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all my favorite items from this summer. I know, summer just started, and it's actually ending in like a few weeks. So I wanted to close out the summer with a video, sharing with you guys what those items are. Personally, I love doing hauls and favorite videos because I love sharing with you guys what I'm into outside of just makeup. Like you guys know, I'm a makeup girl, ride or die till the end. But I do love so many more things as well. So I wanted to dedicate a video to that. If you guys are into this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up so that I know that you guys are into it. Be sure to also leave me a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So we have quite a lot of things to go through today and I figured we'd start with the one that stands out the most and that is my hat. So hats are something that I wear year round, fall, spring, winter, summer. Like I always wear hats. But during the summer, these are my favorite type to wear. I love them so much. So this is one of my favorite styles that I like to wear. And I also have these two other ones that are also super cute as well. I don't know if you guys know, but I really like the color beige. Like, <laughs> beige is my vibe, you know? But these styles right here are my favorite to wear. They go with any outfit, any bikini top, and I really feel like anybody can wear them. Now, the hat I'm wearing right now is pretty expensive. It's from Lack of Colors. It costs about 100 and something. It's pricey, but it's a really good quality hat. So I'm a really big fan of this brand. The price, not so much, but the style of the hat's great. Same thing with this one. You guys probably seen me in this one recently. I've been wearing it so much, and that's my forehead right there. But you can see the quality in this is just super, super nice. They're very comfortable to wear, and they come in different sizes. So I get the medium size for them. I'm kind of cabezona, but they are really good hats. And then, then this hat right here is from Miss Lola. You guys know I love Miss Lola, and they always drop really cute hats for summer. So this is one that I wore a lot as well, and What's cool is that this one actually has strings inside so you can pull it to actually make it smaller. So it fits anybody and you can wear this kind of a little bit more back or directly on the head, however you want to wear it. So hats are the vibe, especially these styles right here. They just look so good during the summer. Now, if you're somebody who's questionable if a hat will look good on you, especially one that's as big as this, I promise you it will. It just is all about the style of the hat. So in the past, when I purchased hats similar to this, the problem that I had is that I was going with some that looked too much like a fedora. So it wasn't giving me the look that I wanted. So for me personally, I like the hat to be a little bigger, especially on this. I think it's called a brim. I could be wrong though, but um, I like them to be bigger and a little bit more oversized right here. They also just create a whole different vibe as well. So yeah, hats are number one on today's list. And since we're on the topic of hats, we're gonna get into the second style of hats that I was really into this summer, and that is bucket hats. You guys, I am obsessed with bucket hats. I grew up wearing these, but I love bucket hats. I always have, and I'm so happy that they're actually like back in style, and you can actually find them in so many places. So this right here is another one from Lack of Colors. It's like a little terry cloth one, really oversized. Quality is so good on this one. So this is one of my favorites that I liked. And then I also have these two really cute styles from Miss Lola. So this one's just an all white one, and this one is tie-dye, my favorite print. And it's actually reversible so you can actually wear it black if you want to as well They're not super super oversized, but they're not too small where it's gonna make you look like you know a little a little webito. So Miss Lola carries these. Another bucket hat I was really into is this one from Tiger Miss. Again, it's reversible as well. And then I also have this adorable butterfly one from Urban Outfitters. I got so many compliments on this one when I wore it. A lot of you guys were curious as to where it was from. So this one is from Urban. And then my last one, which is my favorite one, and that is the one from La Platica. And this one is in the tierra color and it says que calor on top. So I personally love this one the most because Obviously, some of us made it, um, but the quality on this is so nice. It just looks adorable when it's on. All summer long, I was rocking with these. This is like all you guys saw me in was either the big hats or these hats. Next item on my list is one that I get daily DMs about. It is probably my most requested item to talk about, and that is my tie-dye robe from Mason Gray. So this print, first and foremost, is everything. I'm super into the pastel tones in this. So this is like the perfect summer robe, not just a design on this, but the actual fabric and comfort of it. It is so lightweight when it's on. The quality is so good on this. I washed this so many times, and it still feels brand new. So about me, I love wearing robes during summer. I can't wear my fall ones. My fall ones are so heavy, it feels like I'm wearing a cobija on me. So during summer, I like things that are very light and airy, and this is perfect. I swear, guys, this is like the best quality robe. So the other one I have that is from the same brand is the one with the little stars. I always wear that one as well and get so many compliments on that, but they have so many different styles. I think I've seen like leopard, a tie-dye with a different print. Go look on their site. They have so many different and beautiful styles to choose from. And by the way, this is a short one. So they have a long version, but I went with the short one, but this one is my favorite. Next is another tie-dye item. One that 
that I bought in the middle of summer. Never in my life thought I would ever wear these, but my God, they are the most comfortable pair of shoes I have, and that is my tie-dye Crocs. I told myself growing up I would never buy myself a pair of Crocs. These have always been the biggest turnoff to me, but Sabah's bought them for me, and they are so comfortable. It feels like you're walking on clouds. Like They're really ugly, but they're so comfortable. But I couldn't say no to the tie-dye print. It's so cute, and it actually matches my robe like identically. Give them a chance. I promise you will not be disappointed. Like They're definitely not shoes I'm going to wear out, but like house shoes or shoes to be outside in the front yard or backyard perfect they are perfect for that but yeah tie-dye crocs are the vibes guys they're so cute so next we're going to talk about my favorite sunscreens from the summer and these are the two that i was wearing the most and i absolutely love so the first one is elta md you guys have heard me rave about this so many times it has spf 46 it's tinted so it kind of evens out my skin tone and then it also is great for anybody who has sensitive skin or is acne prone has rosacea or hyperpigmentation so it's going to really help to protect soothe and calm your skin and then the second one i discovered recently is in the super goop glow screen so they're kind of similar the only thing is that this one is tinted and this one has a pearlescent in here so the pearlescent works really great whenever you want to wear like a no makeup makeup kind of look i just want to have a lot of glow in my skin i need to just spot conceal some areas but i want to look super dewy and fresh this is the one that I like to wear. I believe with both of these, they do have different versions of this. So they have like a matte one if you don't want to be glowy. And then they have a non-tinted if you don't want any of the tint at all. If you're not wearing sunscreen daily, I highly recommend you start incorporating it into your daily skin and makeup routine. So protect your face. Protect your money maker. Protect it all, guys. Okay, so next, we're going to get you some body items. We actually have three different products we're going to talk about. So the first one is going to be the body oils from e.l.f. These are part of the new Retro Paradise Glow Up Body Oils. If you guys have not checked these out, oof, you are missing out. The formula in this, the finish is amazing. I'm actually going to pour it into my chest area so you guys can kind of see. But this is in the shade Sun Kiss. It smells like an island. You can add these to your shoulders, to your legs. And body glow is something that you don't have to wear just summer. You can wear it year-round. I remember going out and I'm exposing my shoulders, uh, back, chest, anything, I will add body glow on and it makes such a difference in the way my body looks. Uh, one thing I really like about this body glow is that it doesn't have any glitter. It's more like a shimmer, super fine, so it's not gonna be like glitter chunks. So they are $12 and that is not a bad price. I mean, look at the size of this. I believe it's limited edition, so if you guys see these, I would pick up two, save them, because we're gonna go through them like crazy. So this is Sun Kiss, and I'm gonna actually try on the second one. And then the second one is Golden Hour, which I'm gonna do this right on my arm. Both of these are going to be great for all skin tones. If you are in the more medium to dark skin tone, this is perfect for you. And then if you're somebody who is a little bit more of the lighter complexion, this is going to give you just a little bit of color. But look at that. It's gorgeous and looks so pretty. And again, the smell, I think it's like guayaba or papaya. It smells so good. The next items I'm going to share with you guys are ones I actually have never, ever talked about here on YouTube, not even on Instagram. And that is the Body Coverage Perfector from Westmore Beauty. I don't even know if you guys ever heard of this brand, but these are probably the best body makeups on the market. I seriously so many of them i love it so much so pretty much these are like a body makeup if you have bruises if you have spider veins if you have any kind of like unevenness in your legs arms like anywhere it will cover it up and this is by far the most long lasting body makeup i have ever tried in the past i've worn these on my legs have gone out partying come home go to sleep the next day take a shower and then i come out and if i don't actually like scrub my legs with like a lupa it will not come off it is super super waterproof super long lasting but this helps out a lot with my legs i have spider veins on the side of my thighs but my leg is also a little uneven because i'm not somebody who likes to lay out because of that i do a lot of like at home self tanners which i'll share with you guys what i'm loving for that um but because of that i like to even out my legs and just make them look as smooth and even as possible and i swear guys this is it right here. That's one area that I'm a little insecure on because it is just like I said, different colors, spider veins. If you ever have, I feel like I should just like pull up my pants and show you guys. Is it gonna work? Wait, wait a second, I don't think you guys can really tell. Ugh, I don't think you guys can tell. Anyways, also I have old scars from mosquito bites and so on. So you guys know if you have any like leg issues, you can probably relate to me with like sometimes wanting like a body makeup. So I've used other stuff in the past. I've used like Mac Face and Body, which was great at the time, but that's all I knew. I used a KKW one, which is really nice, but again, that one does transfer. But with these, these are the best. I swear to you guys, these are the best. I would check them out if you guys get a chance. I think you will be really impressed with them. Now, moving into self-tanner, I told you guys that I'm not someone who likes to lay out that much, but I do like to do a little at-home self-tanner. 
I've tried many of them and this right here is my favorite one from Lux Unfiltered and it is the Hydrating Self Tanning Cream. So this one actually comes out like a crema, just like a lotion. You add all over your body, I really make sure I get it good between my elbows and between my wrists. I just go in with it and I do like a pretty light layer because I don't like to be too, too tan. I just like a little bit of color. So I do like a pretty good amount all over my body. Hours later, my skin is super sun-kissed and golden. It looks so beautiful. I'm somebody who's in that light to medium skin tone. So anything soft tanning can turn super, super orange on me. This one is like golden. It looks so good on the skin and it lasts so long. And what I like about this one too is that when it fades, it doesn't fade patchy. It just fades gradually. You know how some soft tanners, a whole piece of your arm goes missing like a few days later. This fades super gradually, really evenly, and it's really easy to just kind of add your tan on top of that if you want to add any more. So because I like it to be very natural, I do just like one coat. If I want to be a little bit more tan, I'll do one coat, let it dry, and then do another one. Also, the scent on this is super nice. It doesn't have that typical tanning smell. But I would definitely check this one out if you guys like a little bit more of a natural tan, want it to look very real. This is it. Next favorite summer item that actually just launched recently, but I've been obsessed with them ever since, are the new Desi sunglasses. Comment down below if you guys snatched a pair. These are so amazing, guys. I'm not just saying that because Desi is my friend, but they are amazing. She literally killed it with the quality on these. I have one Celine pair, and I swear to you guys, this pair feels better than it. Quality is so good on these, but I have been obsessed with these sunglasses ever since they launched. I wear them almost all the time to the point where like I have to start taking them off and putting them on the side for my photo because I feel like I age the sunglasses right now. But this pair is one of my favorites. It's called On Red. I believe she's still sold out, but when she stops up again, I'm going to be getting the other uh, color in this. Um, I also love Charge It. This is one that I feel will look good on everyone. Again, Amazing quality. I look very expensive. I love these so much. Another favorite pair is the 2000s but in the black frames. So you guys probably seen them, I believe, in like the light pink frames and the tan ones, which are pretty bomb too. And again, they sold out. I feel like they're just such a vibe. Like I love these. And then this pair actually just came in and I'm obsessed with these and they are the Harper pair. It's so stupid. I think these are one of the best sunglass drops I've seen in a long time. These are, I believe, all between the price range of maybe 65 to 85, which to me is a pretty reasonable price for sunnies, especially for the quality. The quality is so good on them. I can't get over that. If you guys are wondering what my favorite pair are, I am gonna say that these two right here are my favorite Harper and On Red. I just think these go uh, with any outfit and they look so classy. So good job to Desi. I am so proud of her. She's killing it. And these are my favorite sunnies for the summer. Okay, the next item on my list is so random. You guys are probably gonna laugh, but I swear if you are a barbecuer or if you're somebody who's always hosting food and doing things outside, you need these in your life. And that is these food meshes. I've been living under a rock. I just discovered these and I can't get over how cool they are. So we're always outside barbecuing, making carne asada, hamburguesa, like we're always cooking outside. And one of our biggest pet peeve and problem is all the flies. The damn flies, the damn mosquitoes, like there's always bugs outside. If I see a bug land on any kind of food, I get grossed out and I just can't handle it. Like I know it's part of life, but oh my asshole. So one day I was like, there's gotta be like a food cover, a food mesh, there's gotta be something to protect our food. And I looked on Amazon and what do you know, I found these. So these come in a pack of four, pretty much like a little tent for your food. So you pop this in here. And voila, there you go. You add your food over this, you add your carne asada plate, you can put this down. They come in different sizes too. I believe there's smaller ones and like longer ones, but I'm obsessed with these. Ever since I got them, like every time we're like making food, I'm like, wait, the food mesh, let me get the food mesh. I'm that crazy person, so I love these. Next we're gonna get into these two hair products that I am loving so much. So the first one is from L'Oreal and it is a pro keratin deep conditioner. This has been a lifesaver to my hair during summer because I'm somebody who likes to swim. Your hair can get really dry, especially the ends, and my hair gets really dry from the pool. So this stuff right here has been so, so good to my hair. So this is like the high-end line of L'Oreal. It's about 40 bucks for this jar, but it lasts you a really long time. So pretty much I just get a good amount, add it to my ends, massage it in there. And I know they say never to start at the root and end down because it can just weigh this part, but I am a little dry towards my bang area, so I just like to work it up towards the end so that it kind of gets everywhere. So this is a really really good treatment and then the second item is from color wow and it is the pop in lock high gloss finish 
This gives you the wet hair look without your hair having to be wet. During middle school, I used to actually scrunch my hair a lot with mousse. And if we didn't have any mousse, we would just use baby oil. And we always love that wet look. So this kind of gives you that look, but without that feel. It's not going to feel oily. It's not going to feel crunchy. It makes your hair feel really soft, but it looks like it's wet. But yeah, love this one. It's so good. So next is the Weekender bag from Shea Mitchell's line called Bees or Bias. I could be saying that wrong. But this is the Weekender bag, and I think everybody really needs this. It's the perfect bag for a quick weekend, a quick little vacation. Pretty big inside. You guys only pack pretty heavy, but this fits everything in here. We actually went to Newport Dunes last weekend. We went for three days and two nights, and I was able to pack everything in here. I had my packing cubes, which I had all my clothes, chonies. I had a bag of skincare and makeup, and then anything extra I needed, I just had like in the compartment right here. What I like about this bag the most is the bottom compartment. It is actually meant for your actual shoes. I'm able to put in here a pair of sneakers, and then all my sandals and anything extra that I needed. It fits everything so nicely. It has like a really strong metal wire in here. It keeps it warm, which is important because you don't want it to get all flimsy and ugly and then lose its shape so it really holds everything nicely um they have this available in different shades i've seen tan i've seen olive i've seen other ones but i think like when it comes to travel bags i prefer to go with dark shades in case there's any kind of like scratches or spills you won't be able to tell against the black but yeah this is like a really really good weekend bag so yeah that's another favorite anyway so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this summer favorites and i hope you guys enjoyed every item that i talked about Everything will be linked down below. If there's something that I possibly can't find, I'll find something kind of similar to it and link it down below. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys would like a part two but on my favorite beauty items. Talk through or a full face. The one with the highest request will be the next video. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.